what's good everybody and welcome back to the beatmajors.net yo so um i made a i made a video um last year and it was just basically showing you guys it was basic uh mad basic just showing you guys how to set up like a midi controller so lately i've been getting a lot of questions on how to set up the um the mod wheel on that specific video and i was like damn i definitely didn't show them how to set up the mod wheel um the pitch wheel already works uh, perfectly with it so you don't even have to worry about that but um the mod wheel basically the modulation wheel man that just it, it it's different for different plugins so right here we have um contact pulled up and i have a, a simple organ pulled up and um the mod the mod wheel would kind of affect the uh the organ when i play so you can see it's like rotating real slow so what I can do with the mod wheel is the mod wheel will turn the uh, the rotator up and basically make it sound like uh, like this. So as you know, like in here, the mod wheel, when you move the mod wheel, it doesn't work right off off top. So this is what we got to do. So we um, hit the arrow right in the top. Um, and this is for FL Studio 12. You can do this for other, for other ones, too. But we're in FL um, Studio 12. Um, you go to browse parameters. And uh, if it'll ever pop up. Oh, sorry. Okay, so once you hit browse parameters, um, I have my browser set up. Browse parameters, you got to go over into your uh, browser. It'll pop all this up and everything here will be, you know, um, highlighted. But you don't want to mess with that. You want to scroll down here to where these grayed out um, MIDI CCs are. And these are all basically just the controllers, as you can see. They got bank select, modulation, breath controller, foot controller, portamento time, main volume. Like you can assign all of these to something. Like if you have a dope um, controller or something like that, you can assign all of these to an actual um, parameter. So, but we're only focused on MIDI CC number one, and that's the modulation wheel. So you right click that, you hit over. I mean, link to controller, and this will this box will pop up. Auto detect needs to be on because once you move the actual knob on your uh, controller, um, it will assign automatically. And then Omni needs to be set up that way. Every time you open up a plugin, um, basically what will happen is you uh, it'll it'll basically assign a modulation to you know that specific um, plugin. Sorry, had a brain fart for a second. So you basically now after we've hit Omni and auto detect is is clicked, what we do is we move the mod wheel in our controller now. And now it goes away. Now you can see it's happening. It is definitely happening. <laughs> so we got it, man. So that's how you set up the modulation wheel. And now what I can do when I'm playing. So now, you know, it, it, uh, it works and then you know what i'm saying what you want to do now after you've set that up close this out get rid of that and actually try it on another plugin as well really quick um let me see here pull up lounge lizard and when i pull it up midi cc works in a totally different plugin as well so what you want to do is you want to x that off delete these plugins up out of here make sure you know what i'm saying you want to start off with something empty or you can start off on your own template um if you have a, a specific template then you just right click i mean i go up to file save as and save it to wherever your template is at so if you don't have a custom template and you just use the regular fl you just go into local disk c program files 86 um, image line fl studio 12 then here you would go into data projects and then right here is a templates folder um, I usually use the, the empty one, so I go, oops, I go back to the uh, minimal, go to empty, and then I have our own custom um, um, template set up here. So now the mod wheel is set. So now every time I open up FL, guess what's working, guess what's working. So now the new version of FL, after I closed it and opened it back up, this is what's happening. The CC is still there, and it is happening. <laughs> I 
So, yep. Hope you guys got that, man. I hope this, you know, brought some value to your, your music production, man. I hope this um helped some of you guys out out there. This was just a video to answer some comments, man, because I've been getting them. And I, I was like, yo, I definitely didn't show you guys. But the pitch wheels, you know, that's automatically set, you know, and it's set automatically up here and you can move it up to more octaves and it'll, you know, drag more. Um, you can go, uh, let's see, six, as you can see, if you go up eight, you know, it goes all the way up You can go more if you want. Now it's all the way up there. So that's how you do that. But anyway, that's how you set up the, the, uh, mod wheel and the pitch wheels already set up. So until next time, y'all make sure y'all hit the link in the description, man, join that beatpreneur group. Um, become a member let's uh grow together you know what i'm saying start getting those beat sales up start getting these placements up um join some producers that's serious about this man hit that link in the description and join the beatpreneur group and i holla peace